you know, folks over at uh, Fox News, we all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. I just uh, referred to Ari Berman as Ari Melber. It's a mistake that sometimes people make. Ari Burger, Meister, Meister Burger. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but. Um, <laughs> you didn't watch uh, Christmas no, movies? No, I did. Up, I, I did guess. watch those. Okay. I did watch those. I mean, with t- tremendous disdain, of it course. It was such a good joke in the break uh, that I felt I needed to repeat it. <laughs> I uh, that was back. That was back when I began my war on Christmas. But look, the point is, we all make mistakes. And just because you work for a news organization doesn't mean that you uh, can keep all these different um, countries in Asia, you know, separate and distinct from each other. Especially when they're small countries, right? You know, yeah. Like ins- insignificant to somebody at, at a cable news. Rarely network. in the news. Right. Um, who is this guy? Who is this uh, Fox News reporter? We don't know who, she, who it is. Okay, let's play this clip. Um, we're not sure what her name is, but uh, this is on the uh, Outnumbered show. And um, here are the Fox. Um, but it's Harris Fox oh, saying Fox. it, right? Oh, it's she not. agrees. Somebody else says it. Okay, yeah, here it is. This is going to be. They are really. Um, I mean, I appreciate the sentiment that, you know, maybe the Olympics should be canceled this year, uh, but I wouldn't say it's because of this reason. <laughs> and around these Olympics, I like to call them the genocide Olympics. Anyway, I'm, I'm still on the team that I'm not even sure that we should be competing because there is an ongoing genocide in Xinjiang. So if, there, if we are going to go to a country, if we are going to compete and have American athletes there uh, in a country that's committing a genocide, even more important, Harris, to have the freedom wow. of the American flag fully represented. Wow. Wow. Um, we got to play that again because there's a couple of things that you should be aware of. That Japan is not China. <laughs> That's the first thing that you need to know. The Olympics are in Japan. Uh, The Uyghurs are being um, persecuted in China. There is some uh, small quarters where that is a controversial statement, or at the very least, that the the question of genocide is a controversial statement. Well, it's cultural genocide at the very least. Um, But the one thing that is not controversial about that statement is that it's, to the extent that it's happening, and it very well may be, Uh, It's in China, not in Japan. Now, both those countries are in Asia, fair enough. And uh, you, um, I I, I don't know what else to say. What's impressive is that she's been saying this. She's been calling them the Genocide Olympics. And apparently (laughs) no one ever in any other part of her life has said, what do you mean by that? Genocide Olympics. (laughs) And then she would say, well, you know, because of the Uyghurs. And they would say like, but you realize the Olympics are in Japan. No, the producers were like, nailed it. Nailed it. Let's nailed play it. this yeah. clip again. Now, the other thing you should also watch during this clip is look at the faces of the other people on the show. They either, like, like can you imagine what the That's internal Mac monologue and is? down there. They're not even blinking an eye is at that this. Her? It's just like, oh, yeah, you know, she's talking about the genocide Olympics. Whatever. Let's go around these Olympics, I like to call them the genocide Olympics. Anyway, I'm I'm still on the team that I'm not even sure that we should be competing because there is an ongoing genocide in Xinjiang. So if there, if we are going to go to a country, if we are going to compete and have American athletes there uh, in a country that's committing a genocide, even more important, Harris, to have the freedom wow. of the American flag fully represented. That's impressive. Oh, the freedom of the American flag. It's weird. You know, we should never do Olympics in countries that have committed genocide so in la because of our genocide of the native americans i'm sure that that fox news pundit is all uh on board for our uh getting rid of that i i I am just like i am where 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 does where's xinjiang it's like i i just like i'm trying to figure out how it is that she knows the city and this is not just a misspeaking this is not, you know, like, oh, I'm sorry, I got your name wrong. I confused it with the other Ari. She's incorporated this into an argument. Yeah. She's, a, she's like, she's really thought about this. She's like bringing up data that like- I'm you, on the team. Like who else is on that team that's been calling this the genocide Olympics? Cause I, 
I haven't heard from them. That's yet. what I've been calling. Oh no, it. but she's and been cooking it up, right? She's like she wants to have her own kind of war on Christmas moment or critical race theory thing, where I'm gonna move up on this Fox News ladder. I have got some hello angle here. YouTube clips, <laughs> uh, but not for that reason. Damn it! <laughs> that is really really unbelievable look i'm all for also just to address china like i'm all for people having a more expansive definition of genocide and like a, a greater appreciation of what cultural genocide looks like i think when those same people are doing all they can to obfuscate what's going on in canada with regards to residential schools right now they should maybe not be the speakers of what cultural genocide is oh no i'm, I'm sure though she waited on that and they are uh, apparently mad about the uh the flag redesigned uh the 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 U.S. Olympic Committee is redesigning their flag, and so that is what brought. Like, oh well, we're yeah. we oh we're doing. What am I going to do for my angle on the? I'm um, upset about the uh, Olympic flag. Oh, I know, accuse Japan of of genocide. <laughs> and I mean, oh, well, we got this here. U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee, they're considering redesigning the American flag. They say that they're in the early stages. They're brainstorming different flags just to make everyone feel included and, you know, right. make everyone feel happy. So those that the one on the left is what they use right now. And it only has 13 stars because they said about uh, 10 or 15 years ago when they redesigned it, too hard to have all 50 uh, on a little emblem the size of a cookie. So, but that particular version is an official U.S. flag. So the one on screen right is what they're thinking about doing, where you've got five stars and you've got, what, three, four stripes. Uh, red stripes. They're saying the five stars represent things like inclusion. No, no, no. Th this is dumb. A as a matter of fact, why isn't the original <laughs> flag on there? And, and, I, and it's a load stars. of BS that they continue to say that it can't fit on, on, on a cookie. We, we went and looked at the helmets in our executive producer's office, and they all have the original flag on there with 50 states on there. Why isn't that the flag that has been included on there? This is another attempt, and I get it. People have the freedom to speak what they want to speak, but at least you would think the country would advocate yeah. for our original flag. Well, see if this makes sense to you, because this is a statement from the Olympic Committee to um, Fox News. They yeah. say, it is common practice in creative development. Stop. Can we, can this we, is for uh, babies. This is just honestly like, I... but here's the amazing thing. We've just done some research, and if we double check this, because I certainly don't want to uh, misstate something, in a segment that is mocking uh, mercilessly how Fox misstated this. But apparently, the commentator who claimed that she calls this the Genocide Olympics is Morgan Ortegas. And she is a former State Department spokesperson for Trump. <laughs> Now, I say that, like, in that way, because the State Department... Best people. <laughs> oh, they don't, they're, they're not responsible for knowing the difference between Japan and China. Whatever. It's like we said at the top of the show, accuracy over precision. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom line, the bottom line is... Uh, she's, I, she's an expert on the I Atlantic Council. I don't even want to give her this... Well, to be fair... She's an expert on the Atlantic Council, not the Pacific Council. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't even want to give her the, but like, but the Winter Olympics is happening in China, right? I, I don't Next know. Next year? I don't know. Maybe she just got the summer and it's, winter. It's, maybe. it's less fun, but maybe she just, you know, she got too excited about her, her 2022 talking point. In it. Unbelievable. Wow. That is impressive. Folks, there's more of what you've just saw where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. Really, thank you.